you also, you had a, a program, let's go back to the talent. Uh, you had a program there for a while with Wahoo McDaniel. Talk about the Chief. Oh, my One goodness. of the most unique characters and toughest guys in the history yeah. of the business. You talk about an athlete, an all-around athlete, golfer, fisher, and, uh, football player, softball player, honest, good guy, give you the shirt off his back, literally. Uh, my wife's Native American, uh, Lakota Sioux, and who sort of adopted her, although he was Choctaw. But uh, what a good guy. He could, he could play golf with Lee, Tre Lee Trevino competitively, played pro football for several teams, was a pro wrestler at a high level, yeah. was a high school four-sport star. Was, it, it, Flair says he's the, the toughest man that ever walked. Was there any, anything Wahoo couldn't do? And, and until his mobility was compromised with, with age in the ring, he was, you know, he'd take that upside down bump in the turnbuckle better than, you know, anybody but Ray Stevens. And they had the most wicked chop of all. <laughs> It would hit the marks. Remember when they switched him heel and, he, and the marks would come at him, he'd hit the marks yeah. with the chops and knock yeah. him out. Yeah. I remember a funny story. Wahoo and I were in the middle of a program. And not that I bruise easy, but when you get hit by a jackhammer coming yeah. at you, 20 times in one week, you end up bruising. So I <laughs> was in Scope in Norfolk, and I says, Wahoo, can I talk to you? Yeah, yeah, boy, what's up? I said, Wahoo, my wife, your friend, doesn't want to see tonight's match on my chest <laughs> tomorrow morning. What are you talking about? I says, you're killing me with those chops. I'm bruised and I'm bleeding. Him and Valentine and Flair, they used to have these chopping battles yeah. where they were literally busting each other's skin open. I said, that's for you three. I don't want to see that. Boy, okay. Throw was it. Throw Ronnie Garvin in there too with the overhand. Yeah, right? the overhand. Oh my God. And as a matter of fact, the maddest that the Midnight Express ever got at me, Bobby and Dennis Condry, was when I cut a promo. It was Wahoo McDaniel and Ronnie Garvin teaming up, and I called them Fred Flintstone and Barney Rubble. And they took it out on Bobby and Dennis. And Ooh. Dennis, come after the match, he said, Don't ever say that about them ever again. My God, he was. Uh, Wahoo. There's another one. He had pizzazz, he had fire. He wasn't afraid to sell. He knew what this business was about. Yeah. It was getting the people to get behind you, to fight off the evil empire. That's it. There's not, it's not rocket science. Who, who was it that said white hat, black hat? White hat wins in the end. Yeah. There, there you go. There's wrestling. Um, and, and, if the, and if the black hat has the belt, the baby face has the belt, people are cheering, but you didn't win it legitimately, I'm not taking it. Drop it off. On the guy's chest, Boom. he's out in the middle of the ring. I'm going to get it. I'm going to win it legitimately, the right way. But that's not taking into account work rate and quality of backstory on the storyline no. of the booking of. Well, the that power. wasn't written. written yeah. by the writers.